Hi guys, this is just going to be a quick tutorial on how to bake light maps in Marmoset. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is open a Marmoset project, add a bake project, and then load in your meshes, so you're low and you're high. I normally just do this with the quick loader, but you can do it manually if you like. Whatever you find easiest. So now that Marmoset has imported both our high and our low poly and also split it into the baking groups, we can start creating the materials we need for the light baking. So the first thing I'm going to do is just create a new material and then just call this your on if my PC stops freezing, my non permissive. And then this material will just be white in your albedo. Um, I'm going to put roughness on and then depending on sort of like the material that the light's going to be bouncing off, you'd have it more or less reflective. So for these, I'm normally just creating an alpha map. So uh, I don't know, I'll just go like uh, 0.5 roughness. That should be fine for now. We can change it later. And then you can also change the metalness. So. So if your whole high poly was um, metal, you could uh, turn this up. And also at the same time, we could create more materials. So just with the white albedo, but then different roughness and metal values and apply them to individual parts. But I don't normally do that. It should be fine for now. So when we created our anonymous material, we're just gonna show both our high and our low and then drag this material onto the whole bait project. I'll apply it to the low and the high. So I'm just going to hide my low. And then we're going to make a second material. This is going to be the material that emits light. So add material. Which can call this to. I can't spell. But don't worry about that. Um, so on this material, it's going to be the same white albedo. The roughness and metalness don't really matter. I'm just turn these off. And then I'm going to turn on emission. And then, so basically, we're going to want to apply this material to any parts that um, are given off light in our design. So you can see I've got these little screens on my design. So I'm just going to turn this to white. And I'm just going to drag this onto the components that emit light. So, like here. Don't worry if this looks terrible. It won't look uh, great at this stage, but it's fine. Yeah. 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 And then I've also got another one on top. So, and then I've also got these glowing elements here, but these are going to be a different color. So, I'm going to do those in a separate alpha map. So we'll just do these to start off with. So now we've got our material set up on our model correctly. We're going to do the next stage. So we're going to go to our bake project. And I'm just going to set these to the settings I use for Rust. But obviously this will depend on what game engine you bring it into, what stuff we bring it into, etc. So uh, just do this as a normal bake, basically. So I'm going to set this to 64 samples. The high anti-aliasing, panning moderate, that's fine. Uh, 4K bake. And then gonna get to configure our maps. So we'll just turn off everything that comes as default. And then I'm gonna click on complete lighting. And then click on the settings wheel of the complete lighting. And here you can um, turn up your samples. So it's similar to like how you turn up your samples when you're baking your normal textures. This will turn up the samples for just the lighting. So, um, yeah, put on a thousand for now. Obviously you can increase this later if you don't get a good result. Then you've got your bounces as well. So, um, I'm gonna put this in round two. Close that. And then the next thing we're gonna wanna do is go to our sky. 
and we're just going to want to turn off brightness completely. So it's just the uh, emissive lights affecting the scene. So you also might need to turn on uh, ray tracing to view this effect in the viewport. I think you also need ray tracing to a complete lighting, but I could be wrong about that. Um, so now all this is done, we can just go ahead and select a place for this to export to. Bake. And then we're just going to hit bake. So that's finished baking now. So we can preview our uh, baked map and see what it looks like. My PC doesn't freeze. So here you can see the baked elements. And it looks like I'm actually missing some of the meshes, probably because I didn't set up the bake project right, so probably need to extrude the cage on the low body a little bit more. Um, so I'll just do that now. Just need to encompass all of the height. That's fine. Okay, let's go ahead and bake this again and see what result we get. So that's finished baking again, so let's just preview the map. So you can see it looks a lot better now. I haven't got any uh, parts of the design missing. Yep, that looks good. So then next, I'm just going to bake out the other components of the design. So to make this easy, you might want to just turn your scope just to reselect stuff. So I'm going to apply anonymous back to these points I just baked. Just like this. And then the other uh, elements of the design, I'm just going to apply emissive material to. Let's see, uh, this one as well, this one as well. So yeah, if this, if this looks too bright to you, you can turn down your emissive strength or turn it up and into whatever result you want to get. So I'm just going to do it, just see how it looks. Then turn off my sky again, and then once again just baking out the map. But you might need to change the uh, the output name so it doesn't overwrite your first one. But yeah, uh, that's finished baking now, so we can just check our result again. Make sure we're happy with it. I'm pretty happy with this. We can probably uh, make it work in Substance Painter. So. Uh, the next thing I'm going to show is just a basic example of how you'd use these alpha maps and Substance Painter to uh, create your emissive maps. So here's my finished product, and I'm just uh, going to show you how I achieved this in Substance Painter, or at least I'm just going to show you basically how to bring in those alpha maps and use them. Um, obviously, you can mess around to get them to look as best as you can. So I'm just going to add a blank layer to this project. So here's a big result just with a white full layer applied and then my bean occlusion. So the first one we're going to want to do is uh, find where we bake the maps and just import them into Substance Painter. So yeah, I'm just going to drag the Bake to light map into the asset bar on Substance Painter. 
and then I'm going to import it as an alpha just in my current session and you can see here's our light map that's been baked so the easiest well a simple way of doing this is just create a full layer with an emissive channel and then you could set it to whatever color you want and then I'm just going to black mask a fill layer and then drag my uh, baked map into here. As you can see, we've now got the emissive. Um, let me just make the base layer black so you can see easier. Yeah, it's a black as well. And you can see you've got this result. Looks really good. And then normally what I do just to emphasize the part that's emitting light as well. Create another fill layer. Set it to slightly brighter emissive than what the map is. Now add a black mask and then a color select. And I'll just select the part that's emitting the light. As you can see that just highlights it nicely and then Obviously you can mess around with your textures to get a better result than this, but that's how you basically mask off and get, get your glow going, you know. Uh, there, yeah. Then I'd just repeat this uh, for the screens, just to get the result I want, basically. That's it.